Oh, my bad. So I'm playing against uh, Counter Energy Zork. Or like, I think so, probably. Yeah, Counter Energy Zork. So this boy is not gonna live very long. But this guy doesn't. Have, this guy has retreat. I mean, like he has to find his float. Ooh, he has to find his float stone. We can limit his bench too, so we can't just kill this. I mean, eighty. I almost feel like maybe I should hold on to this for a turn. Um, could double strong it. But what if we get enhanced hammered? So yeah, if we like, I guess we don't want to strong because if we top deck a basic, we want to like bench that, attach to it, and maybe retreat this. So do this, I think is better. Because otherwise, if we just attach to strong, he can enhance hammer it, and then if we top deck a basic, um, we wouldn't be able to retreat to it this turn if we want to. This is the hand to kick off the stream. Yeah, it's some uh, good shit right here. <clears throat> Oh, man. All right, so he still needs to move our stadium to get the kill this turn, though. Okay, I'm going to let you guys know right there that's a misplay. He should just take the turn off. Uh, so even if he whiffed anything, there's no way you... Okay, well, it turns out it still drew trash, but you don't end there. You just pass as him. You have trade going, so you're going to draw more cards than me. Um, so there's no reason for him to ever end there. Like, just draw for turn next turn, trade. Um, for some reason, he felt the need to... Uh, uh, for some reason, he decided to end me there, <clears throat> for whatever reason. Rally back. It's just, yeah. Oh, it's 120, though. That's right, yeah. Okay, so we got something. Um... Got, I mean, we kind of got something. We don't really still don't really have anything. Um, I almost just want to hit this. I almost just want to kind of want to hit this with the power gem for the turn. Um, so I go like strong energy, Guzma power gem, bench this max elixir. And that's not very good right now. I could bench him, Guzma hit, but I don't have a way to kill for sure next turn. So, like, if we get this guy stuck in the active, this is what I'm going for here. So, I guess we do that. This. I'm debating if I... I guess I do bench this. It means I don't lose. Right? Yeah. No reason not to bench it, I guess. I mean, even if he gets the field blower now, he needs two basic Pokemon. So, that's good to... I guess we're, we're two, getting the two shot with power gem, which would be really nice. He does have the auto, uh, the immediate response of Shaman, but I guess we're going to have to be fine with that. And we're in such a bad spot, we just need to draw prizes. So we're just hoping this guy gets stuck here. He doesn't have Ace of Rolla, Second Floatstone. Um, it's possible he would DC retreat this, but I doubt it. <clears throat> you know I was going to draw us anyways. Yeah, what's up, Bandage? And why, bro? Why would you end? It's oh, there's just no reason for him to end at all, and yet he's still like, you know what? I'm gonna give him another chance. So like, I appreciate him giving me a chance, but it's like, just don't end me, bro. There's no reason for you to end me here. You have double trade. Oh my gosh, it's just really bad. Maybe in this situation it's okay to end because he knows I'm gonna draw two prizes, so he shouldn't. He's gonna try and. Do Deny me drawing the two prizes. But still, I don't think I would end there personally. I don't know. That one's a little tougher. The first end was definitely a no. A big no for the first end. This end, uh, I guess it's 
there's some merit to it. I still don't like it. Not a big fan. Not a big fan at all. So an 80, 100, or 80. Belt doesn't work on this, right, though? What does Belt say? This is not a basic Pokemon, right? No, because it evolves. If it evolves... It's like not a stage one either, right? If I, if I remember correctly how it works. So he got the kill. Oh, man. So now we only have Buzzwool. We can limit his bench again, though, which is big. And we can hope... Okay, so that's a cool... That would have been a cool top deck if we had still had the carving can play. Now it's not as cool of a top deck. Um, so we can limit his bench. That's just the right play, I think, all the time. He's going to, what, discard Coco Zerua, probably? If we kill this... Uh, Tariot is beating to kill. He needs a full bench. So he'd have to bump this again to actually make Mew kill us. So we're going to attach Fighting Fury Belt, play Nest Ball. And I think we're going to Sycamore and try and find a strong. What are we doing? 80 right now? So we don't kill without a strong. And we really need a kill here, actually. A kill here would be sick. So I think we're going to look for the kill. Um, And then I guess we just go into the carving. Or we could try and set up the carb. No, I think we need to, like... Well, if we go kill this, if we get the kill, we can then follow up with a GX attack, I think, to kill the Mew. He'll probably push Mew no matter what. So then we'll kill the Mew. And then we'll, then we'll need to reset, though. So I think we get the Carbon here. Or we'd have to hit, like, a bunch of Max Elixirs. Got the Strong. Got this boy. Could Ultra Ball these two get the Trubbish? I think we do do that, right? Oh, man, that's a lot of energy. I guess we definitely have to re reset up with the carving for sure. So get rid of these. We're going to get Trubbish. We're not going to attach the float. Do we attach the float? One blower down? No. Because he would blower this in the float if he's not going to get the one shot anyways. We almost have to hope to hit another energy. So if we're going to GX this, what if we hit it with the carving instead? 20, 30... I think we should put the 30 on the Shaman so we can like easily kill the Shaman at some point when it comes active. Like if we ever need to easily kill it. Because like right now I could Jet Punch the Shaman again. So Shaman's like a weird option for him. I like that, I think. All Garb Surprised. Oh, were they? I didn't notice. Your opponent's wing tells me he is a, a pay-to-lose player. <laughs> I didn't actually see. Maybe all garbs were prized. Oops. All the garbs maybe were prized there, actually. Definitely need to look to refuel with. We need to find. We don't need the garb. Okay, so the garb is, like, very nice if we find it. But we don't need garb. What we actually need here is uh, the carbing break. Which I'm pretty sure the second one's in the deck. I don't actually know for sure. Um, it's possible we just Guzma kill this next turn, though, actually. If he is going to go, like... Oh, is that a kill? No, it's not. It's off by 10 damage. I forgot about Choice Band. Actually, I didn't really do the Choice Band math. I thought there was no way he could kill us without bumping this, but if he had Blower, he could have killed us. Oh, God. Actually, that hurts. Ouch. That's actually a big deal. Wow. Okay. Um. Hmm. That E-Hammer, though. Hmm. So we could we could maybe hit a Max Elixir here, attach retreat, attack with him. We also just shut off the Mew. We could do like Ultra Ball these to get Oh, is the Garb prize? I don't remember. I can't Max Elixir to this though. If I don't I don't know if the Garb's prize or not. No, this is bad. Ugh. I'm just gonna go ahead and hope it's not. Cause we could just shut it off. Ugh, it's prized. Alright. Now, I don't want to get the Carbon Rank anymore because I could go attach Max Elixir and move it. So I think we grab another Buzzwool. I don't want to grab the Break yet. So it's possible we can hit Attach Max Elixir. Oh, we got the Max Elixir. We did not get the Attach. I would have attached here. 
Would I have? Probably. Hmm. We have an end follow up, which is nice. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that actually. I maybe would have liked the max elixir there. Whatever. This is going to him now. <clears throat> maybe should have max elixir there. Maybe should have. So we're gonna punch. How are we winning the game? Probably kill Mew, kill Zork. Oh man. I could kill this, kill Shaman, Jet Punch, that's not like killing that. I think we'd go to Zork. It's probably kill Mew, kill Zork. I mean, the reason I put the 30 there initially was like if he did hit in with Rally Back instead of using Mew, um, then I could just kill this with a Jet Punch. Oh, bro, come on. That's so rude. Oh, we have this guy, though. He can't hit him. Maybe he doesn't know that. Oh, no, but he can kill this with Zorark, though. I can't let that happen. Right? This thing could just die to Zorark, and then I just lose the game pretty much. Well, how many DCE is he down? Garb prize. Oh, my gosh. So many things have gone wrong this game. I don't know if I can risk pushing that up. He's down quite a few basic Pokemon, but he can probably find two more. Then what do I ever send up here anyways? The Trubbish? I guess it has to be the Trubbish. This feels so bad, though. This can't be right. I think maybe it has to be the Carbink, and I have to hope he can't find DCE slash fill his bench. That's also kind of unlikely, though. That's not that unlikely. But just like Lele for Mallow, this deck usually runs two Mallow, so... It's pretty unlikely that he whiffs. Well, now that he already traded, he's definitely not Mallow in this turn. He maybe would have whiffed. I don't know. Maybe I should just push the curb. I, maybe, I think maybe pushing the Carbank and praying he whiffs is the better play. I don't know. Four E-Hammers in one deck. Would have thought that. But it's good, man. E-Hammers a good card. Virgin Driplum Hammers. That was a good deck, too. That played a lot of hammers. Yo, what's up? Oh, Philip Devour. Is Zorark Decidueye still good? I think the deck is still, like, a very okay deck. I don't think the deck's very good. Oh, man. I don't think we can win this anymore. Our setup was so shit, and then we prized the double garb. Like, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much how this game was. We wish we should have lost way harder, but he end us twice. The second end was maybe fine. The second end that he maybe end us out of was fine. The first end was not fine that he end us with, but second end was maybe okay. I'll give him that. Zork to situate is good. Yeah, I never thought that deck was great. I, there's a, uh, actually, I kind of want to play that deck. What does the meta look like right now? There's not that much garb in the meta. We could try it. Uh, but there's a lot of Parallel City. Parallel City just hurts the Sidewai in general. Can we ever win? I don't think so. We can send up him and hope he can't find a DC. I think that's early out. Send up him. Hit. Hope he can't find DC. And we didn't even hit an energy. All right, we can still hope. Maybe he'll immediately just go uh, write his beating. That'd be funny. Uh, what are your thoughts on the new frogs? I mean, they're cool. Like, I always like cards like that. Like, that just have an obvious use slash purpose like they just do stuff man that's cool uh meme fuel uh like that's just cool i like how that there's just a card that does it's just a good card um So I'm glad I'm glad they printed them. Um, I don't know how good they'll be. You know, that's has to yet to be seen, but um, still glad they printed them. 
so badly, then do it, man. Do it, Bonfire. Play the Glaceon deck? Nah, no, man. I don't think Glaceon's very good. What do you think about Sword Counter's deck that made top 16 in Kondo? Can you play it? Uh, I'm not going to play it today. I would, I'll, I'll consider playing it, though. I'll play it. I don't think it's very good. I'm not going to lie. I think there's uh, any kind of counter box deck. I think, like, um, an expanded counter box with, like, a trash lanch in it is better. Because you need some kind of, like, inevitability for, like, a one shot. Because otherwise, what really happens is um, you play yourself into scenarios, or your opponent can play around all your scenarios. Uh, pretty easily actually I feel like against counter box decks to the point where you just you just can't take knockouts eventually and they will always be able to draw like the last two prizes before you can or the last prize before you can um, so that's the problem with counter energy decks um, yeah that's just kind of the problem um, but if you play it like a counter box or like a trash lanch you have like trash lanch can always one shot stuff eventually so like that's um Really enjoy playing War Type Pokemon feel like it. I have very little success with Glacia and Ninetales or Lapras. Is there a water deck in standard worth playing? Greninja is pretty much the only deck worth playing. The only water deck worth playing, I think, right now. For right now. We'll see if this Greninja brings anything new. Um Yeah, I'm pretty sure Greninja is like the only one worth playing. Greninja has uh, its new two tree costs. Oh my bad. Why do they always make me do this extra done button? What are they? What is that clicking for? This is Pedro Torres. Oh, uh, y'all draw a card. Yo, what's up, Sininchi? Sinin oh shit, we're playing. Yeah, yeah. Good luck, man. So this has to be a... Uh, man, if we had a supporter, Ultra Ball, for Garb here. We're not doing that. What are we doing, then? Well, we're doing this. Uh, should I Ultra Ball first? I probably should Ultra Ball first. It takes Lele out of the deck. Yeah, so I already messed up once. I played some max... I didn't see a Lele in there, but... um, Just should always... If you're going to take cards out of your deck, do that before you play Max Elixir. What are we doing here? I think we're going to get rid of Guzma Floatstone. Yeah, I think we're doing this. And then Wonder Tag for Lily, hopefully. Yeah. So I should have done this first. I didn't see Lily or Lele in that top six, I don't think. But you should always do this first. It's not worth it. Not worth the risk, man. So we'll do this. We're probably going to be able to kill this for free next turn. So we can attach this first, and then we do this max elixir. Bruh. All right. So this deck does play Mew. This is a very disappointing hand. I was just going to say that. Did I copy? Yeah, I'm just playing Natalie's uh, deck list right now. Don't have Bridget any top deck. Oh, there it is. That doesn't give your opponent the knowledge if you have another basic to bench on. Oh, okay. Is that the point of it? So it's like supposed to like so you can have the option to hide the info. Even if Yeah, I guess that makes sense. <clears throat> Max it looks yeah, dude. What the heck is this? This is some this is some shit right here. This is definitely some shit right here. Oh my goodness. Do we just sycamore this? Ah, oh, there's no way sycamore this is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is sycamore in this right? Okay, so he could play E Hammer, so I think we just do this. I think we oh man, I think we I don't know. I guess we Cynthia here. That's a lot of energy to get this card without Carbon even ready. Getting close to it. And man, I get the float zone again, but no Trubbish. This is horrible. This is this has been drawing so poorly so far. Last game and this game have been like, oh my goodness. Some next level draws. Oh, goodness. And this deck plays no um, blower, right? So this thing is stuck. 
At least he end me. That was nice of him. Once again, I don't... Where's the trubbies? Where are the trubs? And I need to get a belt or a strong energy. A shuffle better? I mean, I guess. I definitely need to do something better. Something is not working right now. Okay. I think we Sycamore here. I don't think I want to end this hand. Ending does not seem very good. So we'll leave ourselves open to attach this strong or get basic belt. All right. So I think we need to be the aggressor, like really aggressive in this matchup. Um, do I want to set up garb anymore? I guess I do, but we need to keep the Zygarde actually in case he goes for, or do we go for the Carbink? Can we just win with Carbink? Maybe I should have kept the Guzma. Well, I'm going to GX this. GX kills, right? Yeah, GX is a kill. So I'm thinking about going for the Carbink. Carbink or Garb? I don't think I need Garb to win this matchup. I think I can do it off Carbink. So set up the Car Carbink. We're running out of attackers, too. It's ridiculous. So I actually... Uh, I mean, I don't want him to kill this. If he killed this with what's it called, though, I wouldn't be mad. If he killed this this turn with Mew, I wouldn't be terribly mad. I can, like, bench the Zygarde, buff him, power the Zygarde. Oh, I'm getting trickstered. Oh, I am dying this turn. He is going to trickster kill me. Okay. Offense. How is this deck even good? No offense. I mean, yeah, the big beatdown plus ability lock is pretty much the, the strategy. Getting parallel cityed first, though, is not. That's not good. I'm definitely glad I went for the carving play. I forgot about Trickster. He's definitely Trickstering us here. 100%. But we, whiff, we if we didn't, if we hit both those max elixirs, I think we just win the game right on this turn. But we whiff two max elixir. Oh my gosh. It's rough, man. So we need to set up the bank. We need to hit the break. We don't set up the trubbish here. Oh, great. Perfect top deck. Another use of top deck. And we need to go. Yeah, nice. Actually, very nice. Very nice. Get the Zydad. I think we just set up Zygarde, right? Because if he does go into Mew, we don't want to get fucked by that. Um... I think we just go double basic just to avoid getting enhanced hammered. We just put them. Yeah, I think this is right. We just no reason for us to put ourselves in the risk of getting enhanced hammered. We still have two max looks, but we still have to hit them too. So, Binding, missing elixir is partly your fault though. Yeah, the first one. I don't think it's even plays Mew. Uh, all the lists that I've seen have played a Mew EX. I think. Um, so I'm definitely gonna be wary of. It. I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna play around Mew EX for sure. I don't think there's any reason to play into Mew EX. I think I can 100% should just play around Mew EX. Tomorrow I have an expanded term. I don't know what to play. I don't have a lot of expanded cards. I have only like one, two eggs. A lot of standard cards. Um, to be honest, I would play if you can get the cards for it. I would play. Uh, um, I would play Isaiah's second place list from Dallas. That's what I would play. This deck can't beat Buzzwell if it doesn't play Mew plus Zoro Break. Yeah. Uh, it only needs Mew. You don't need the Zoro Break too. Zoro Break is nice, but like it's a lot to set up because you also have to set up Zorix to actually draw cards. We have yet to see the Mew. It's possible someone will just cut it, but like, there's no way you beat um, Zoropod is Flames and Expanded. Uh, I think Expanded got too aggressive with like just like Relentless. No, no, what's going on here? Guzma hit it with Lele. That's not cool. Okay, so I can. I think I. 
Damn. So if I had a strong energy on here, that would have made a big difference. I could have killed this with Cell Storm. So I could just Cell Storm this turn. I could Guzma Cell Storm the Sneasel, which I kind of like. Um. I guess I like that. I don't know. That's my last Guzma, though, right? Or do I have one more? One more. Okay. This way I can move the Zygarde next turn, too, with the Float Stone. Uh, he can kill me with a Zorg if he wants, but that's I just have to be fine with that. I don't have an N, which I really wish I had an N. Oh, could he go double DC kill me, too? Double DC... Choice ban? That kills me too, right? 120, yeah. Double DC choice ban also kills me. That would be rough if he got that. Actually, I might just lose to that. <clears throat> if he gets DCE choice ban here, and then he can go DCE... A third DCE kill this when I try and power this up. And then we just lose. Yeah. Okay, so I could just lose here very soon. To uh, one Lele. Oh, he's going to kill me with this, so I'm fine with that. Man, let's see. He's going double puzzle. There had to be a better way for him to do this, though, right? He could have got Kakui Dark. 120. Still not enough. Okay. Can he win next turn? I don't think he can win next turn if I just power up this Buzzwall. He has no bench space for Mew anymore. No, I should be able to send this up, power up Buzzwall, win the game. So I just sick him more here, I think, because I don't want... There's two cards. The Cynthia would be nice to keep in the deck, maybe. But I definitely don't want the Carbank or the Parallel City. And we'll see what my top deck is, I guess. Okay, that should just go here, right? Could attach it here. Hit for 80. And then I could follow up with a kill with him. No, I should charge up this boy. Yeah. I don't, I don't think he can ever kill this, so... I don't know. It's possible he can. Don't need those anymore, so let's get rid of them. We'll get the Lele. So the Guzma is prized? Or is this deck only played three Guzma? I actually don't know. Um, I don't see any reason not to max Elixir. Is it possible I put too much energy on this guy? I don't think so. Mm. No, I guess we do do this. Does it have to go to one? No, oh, it's one of your fighting Pokemon. Okay. Bah. Yo, thanks for the host, Vance. Appreciate it, man. Fake news. No, Golly. Yeah, Golly is an expanded Golly. Uh, the format ended up being getting like super aggressive with Zorak decks. Like how how aggressive the Zorak decks are actually. Um, man, I gotta let the dog out. Yeah, those, there are those e-hammers I was afraid of. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So he's going with the end play. So if I get an energy, I win? Is that literally what he's saying? I should have attached a float stone. Alright, we have Ultra Ball for um, Lele. Yeah. Oh, he can attack with Sneasel this turn, but it doesn't kill. And then I can Ultra Ball for Lele for, like, Sycamore, get a strong, kill it with Power Gem. Oh. That's weird. Why didn't he use Sneasel there? 
Hmm, is Cecil actually better? Maybe not. No, I think Cecil's better there. He could have actually puzzled for Kikui, you Sneasel. But he knew I had Leyla in hand, I guess. No, so you do have the Miyoka, that's what I thought. What kind of dog do I have? He's a Shih Tzu mix. I like to claim he's not my dog, though, because he's super annoying. And this is something he's not that good. <laughs> also, one's playing frog puke. Ooh. Mm, I will go first. Thank you. Should have goose with the puzzle. My dog home alone? No. Don't worry, he was getting taken care of when I was gone. Oh, here's a good hand. All right. Um. So because we have the max looks and Wana Lily, I guess we open Carbink. The only better opener would have been Trubbish, but. Why don't you tech a rock in? A rock? A Reggie rock? Dun. I'm going first. Well, Canyon. Bro. I like I literally can't whiff more. We're actually gonna do this. Um okay, we got the trub. Cause I want to do this so I could save the ultra ball to find the trubbish, but this works too. Um this guy's really bad in this matchup, I think. Insane. So we can ultra ball for ability lock garb. Lele for something. Or Lele first. We'll Lele next turn. I don't think we ever bench him. He doesn't seem very good in this matchup, so we'll just pass. Oh, man. Hmm, what did he just get with that? Did he get Kiawe? No. He actually got a ho -Oh. I guess that's hard for me to kill, right? Makes sense. Oh, man. We don't play blower. Oh, boy. Don't play blower. Keep whipping max elixir. Zygarde seems pretty terrible in this matchup, right? Seems terrible. There is Horgus on this deck. All right. So I think I'm going to plan to just break this turn. Or to hopefully hit break. Maybe I want to get break over this then, actually. Yeah, maybe that was a mistake. I could have got the break instead of the garb. That actually maybe sounds a little bit better now that I'm thinking about it. We'll get there anyway. Sweet. Because just retreating and doing that doesn't seem very good. Our hand is dead again, though.
the diamond gift. Hand is dead now. Let's see, how much damage do we actually do? What does he have? 20 resistance? 190? So GX kills. So we need a GX kill. All right, nice end. Thank you. Maybe should have benched. I didn't attach the Fighting Fury belt because if he has blower, then he gets both relevant things. So he actually can't kill without a tool. Okay. Ice hand's very good now. So he can't kill without tool or steam up. What is that? Potown? So he can't kill without a tool or a steam up. We have garb in play. I almost feel like this deck just doesn't play blower. He's this guy now. No energy in discard pile. So I feel like I just go GX kill this thing, to be honest. We can set up a second boy. GX is what? It's 40 times, so it's one, yeah. With the normal attack, the normal attack won't kill. So yeah, if we GX, GX this one first, because we don't want to kill this one and then have him move the energy to this one with baton, right? That's how it works. GX to Pokemon's mind, what different one second. So now he can't, like, put a tool on this one. So if we kill this one, he moves the energy here, puts a tool, can kill this. Um, but if we do this, he needs to get, like, a blower here, steam up, do it. But I guess we have the belt anyways. Do we not put the belt down now because of that, though? So if we're going to do this... Do we even put the belt down? He could go attach Max Elixir, blower. If he blowers, he steams up. So putting the, the belt down doesn't do anything. So there's no reason to put the belt on this one. The belt might end up on this one, actually. So we should just not belt then. Because if he has to blow her anyways, he will get rid of the Fighting Fury belt. Yeah, there's no reason to blow her. There's no reason to belt. Oh. All right, Parallel City's good. Second Garb is okay. I think we're just going to Sycamore next turn and discard it because if he ever chases this, I feel like we win anyways. So. Okay, there's the blower, yeah. So, yeah, it didn't make sense. So, I guess that's right then because it doesn't make sense to put the belt down in that situation. It does play blower. It's just how many now. <clears throat> Duh, duh. Recharge the belt, not blow. Okay, so now I gotta kill this. If we put our bench to three, limit his damage by twenty. Belt reduces damage by 20. He actually can't kill us. I mean, we could just sit here and jet punch, maybe. Double jet punch would kill that with the belt. I don't hate that. And if we get the tool there, he can't literally... He literally just can't kill it, right? He would do 180, 230, but it would be minus by 20. So, yeah, we can do... We can actually get to ditch that, which is nice. This, um, I kind of just want to stick them more. I don't want these cards. I don't want the N or the Garb in my deck really anymore. And I really want to get a tool, so nice. Guess we hold the Max Elixir. And we need, like, we need to push some damage on this, otherwise we're never going to kill it. Um, yeah, so we need to push the extra damage there. And we actually two-shot this, which is, like, whatever. Killing this puts us on odd prizes, so we almost never really want to kill this if we don't have to. But, like, oh, a second blower already. It's like the one thing I really didn't want to see was the second blower. <clears throat> All mirrors are trash. This game is trash. <laughs> Mirror's trash. Mirror's trash and most most mirrors are trash. 
Mirrors are only good when the lists are like extremely different. Okay. Do you like Laurentis over No Laurentis? Um, I like No Laurentis. I like No Laurentis Heavy Paralocity. You play some frogs. Frogs do always bring the memes. That is true. Oh shit. Well, the baton sucks, but I don't see a reason for us not to kill this this turn. This match seems rough. This match feels rough. This matchup feels very rough, actually. These things are just so big. The baton is really just a wish baton. If you didn't have the batons, actually, this would be very easy, but... I think we just have to kill it, and then we have to deal with the next hello. It was a good top deck. The Cynthia was a very good top deck, though. Three tools left. We need to get a tool on the garb. Oh, but this strong has to go here, right? Ooh, whatever. I wonder if I missed that on the... No. So we need a tool. Very nice. Hit. Ooh, very nice. I'm killing this. He could put down a second Volcano and kill us. So I guess this has to go on the garb. And then it's, do we put one here? But he can't kill us. He has to do this to get rid of it. So I don't think we put this Fighting Fury Belt here. I think we just hold it. And then impact. Yeah. He's still bad. You'd almost rather still have banned. I mean, I guess it's very annoying though. They're very the the wish batons are actually very annoying. That floats was a pretty good pull. Hopefully he doesn't end us. No shit. I just didn't want to get ended there, but it's fine, I guess. Okay, well we just win now, right? Yeah, <laughs> right into game. That works. Damn, those wish batons are hella annoying, though. I almost want to try this now. I almost want to try hella wish baton now. I actually, like, that's like... I almost want to try it now. Almost want to try hella wish baton. Almost. About it. So what's gonna be the next Blade Clay partner? Who knows, man. Well, no, com no big complaints yet. Dun, dun. I almost want kind of want a stretcher in the deck, I guess. Stretcher or like a tenth fighting. Well, let me take a look at the list. I like the nest balls. You never go on a less nest balls. Was it four, seven, eight, nine, ten? That's nice. It's nice to have ten draw supporters. Parallel City's too good. Uh, it's close. It's rough. I could see dropping this for a stretcher. Yeah, I could see dropping the second break for a stretcher.
back and forth on stretcher decided we didn't need it i don't think i really missed it all that yeah i could see it i mean the only thing i'd really ever want it for is like if someone is able to chase garb constantly you'd want like a way to recover a third garb line or threaten a third garb line i guess um but yeah, i mean if you're playing the main thing you need garbs against anyways is Zorg deck so you don't need to worry about it too much i guess i seem so depressed your voice just sounds so energyless dude i'm just chilling man second break was the spot for the hypothetical yeah makes sense makes sense <clears throat> i seem so depressed now nah, i'm just chilling bro Mm -hmm. oh, that's a good hand. Oh, my bad, dude. I keep forgetting that. Um, uh, what are we playing against? What the fuck is that, dude? I guess I should have checked counts. Okay, we still have one in there. One, two. And, uh, Lily? Ooh, hype. All right, so here's where we need to decide if we want to hold back on the tools or not. So this happens for sure. This happens. Yes. And then we're playing against a Decidui deck, so we want tools at all times. So I think, I mean, mm, let's just commit both. It's not that big of a deal this early, I guess. Thinking, thinking, thinking. He's pretty bad, right, in this matchup? Definitely not good. Mm, yes, yeah, fine. Bought all the Avengers Lorandis promo I wanted to do. <laughs> Bought my Lorandis promo, dude. Uh, that's that after tournament height. Yeah, for sure. Well, someone wanted to buy a shit ton of Buzzwolves. Dude, I, I looked for Buzzwolves personally at the uh, vendors. Oh, Mewtwo, huh? I guess we could set up the Zygarde then. That's fine. This deck seems like it can draw some really. This deck seems like it draws. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, we got a lot of energy. We have a lot of energy in our deck. I don't want a Sycamore because it gets rid of a tool and the bank, the break. So I think Cynthia's fine here. I think Cynthia's fine. Card break only. Yo, thanks for the sub, uh, Philip and T Swiss. Appreciate it, guys. Uh, let's hit this max elixirs. All right. So we have like an immediate response, one twenty. So we do need to push thirty here, or we could push thirty on a Rowlet. Nah, but he's probably gonna be able to evolve one of them. So we're gonna push it on the Mewtwo, because then we could just retreat and lands wrath. We could go attach, hit the max elixir. Maybe should have used this max elixir. I kind of don't didn't want to immediately though. I kind of want to hold on to it. I kind of just wanted to like chill with it. And sure. So maybe I should just use that max elixir. I was kind of like iffy on using it, but it makes sense if it, my strategy is to do it the way. I just talked about doing it. Oh man. Well, now I think, well, hang on. How much is that? 80, 90? No, I think we go, damn, we're getting rid of the break for sure here. So we're never gonna get, <clears throat> get to car bank boys. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, that has to be fine though. If I just use that, I should have just used that max looks. I don't know what I was thinking with that. That was weird. I was like spacing out and I was like, yeah, I don't need it, do I? But yeah, it's there's no way it's not the right play there, right? I think. I don't know, man. Uh what do we have? We have one strong left. What are we doing? Sixty, ninety. What is he doing? 
I can give myself the option and then just Sycamore first. I don't know, man. That's tough. Well, let's take the Buzzwool for sure. I can either, like, commit... I think I commit the belt here for sure. Well, yeah, I think I commit the belt here for sure. Well, once again, well, 180, yeah. Um, I think that's right. And then I can either not attach and go hope. Either way, I should be able to hit an attachment. There's eight energy left in the deck. Um, man, that's tough though. Let's do it like this, cause I could hit the retreat plus the max elixir hit. Ooh, I almost did not hit energy at all. That would have been bad. See, that would have been the... That's like the... The bad situation that could have come up. I don't want this in my deck anymore. I don't think I grab anything. I can leave this spot open for Lele. Not being able to carbon get all really sucks too, though. Do we attach here? We're doing what? 60, 40? So that could kill. So we may as well do this to give ourselves that option. We're locked into Jet Punch, I think. I guess we could have retreated, but I don't really want to just like then let this take a big hit for no reason. Maybe that was a mistake, though. I don't know. Uh, where are we going with this? Got to go on one of these boys. I think it goes to the Dartrix. <clears throat> Make a meta Shammy X? Who knows, man? He's in the distant future. What will be the best partner for Lucario? There's a Lucario GX coming out? No, I'm scrolling back up right now. Cario GX. Dun, 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 dun. Some Turbo Dark action. Dude, I bring all the Turbo Dark action. All right, what do we got here? He didn't evolve this. So that's a big deal, actually. I want you to send up him. He's got free retreat. We get the kill here with this buzz. We'll go kill. We can do 30. I'm going to bench one of these to get out of the deck. I'll hold on to the float stone still. Yo, thanks for the re resub walrus kick in two months. I appreciate it, man. Most of chat is flame. What am I afraid of? Oh, so I can't use him now, right? Because he's got the grass set up ready to go. I just have to decide how I want to draw my prizes or how I think the best way is going to be for me to draw my prizes. This kills, right? Yeah. So we can go kill. Oh, man. It's getting rough. All right. So this does what? 170, 200. Oh, we're just not killing this. 170 plus 32. Ooh, ooh, we're just not killing it. That's just not killing him. Mm. Well, wait. 40, 100. 120, 30. Man, he didn't evolve this, though. So I kind of want to go after that. I kind of want to go after this because he didn't evolve it. But then if I go 40, that's not enough to get the kill anyways. So I think I have to kill this. I have to plan to kill this Decidue, I think. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. How many DCs is he down? None. So if he swings with this next turn, 90... I could then go hit, kit, and then if he goes 90 again, I could go kill. Man, 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 man. He's probably going to be able to evolve that next turn. So let's just prep this one, I guess, because he's probably attacking with this one next turn. And then I can go hit it, set it up to be killed through a knuckle impact. I don't know. That's rough. These things are big. These are some big birds. These are some really big birds. And I don't have, like, the – I never have any recharge with the carbon break because I've discarded both of them now. So that sucks. Maybe should have held on to one of them. But I think it was fine to get rid of them. I don't know. Why is it good and consistent? Mm, it's possible he just goes for what's it called this turn. Okay. It's actually very possible he's just going to hollow hunt this turn. Which sets up my jet punch on this very nicely. So I'm trying four. I need to draw four prizes. So I'm going to win the game. Mm. Yeah, so we got the evolution. 
Ooh, that allowed him to do that play, I guess. That's fine, though. Oh, no hand. Oh, but he's going to hollow hunt. All right, he's going to have a hand. So it's going to get here. DCE, Sycamore, something. And Sycamore. Mewtwo. Ooh, if he gets Mewtwo back. Mewtwo, DCE. Sycamore? That's rough, actually. I don't, know. I don't think I can deal with another Mewtwo. Dealing with another Mewtwo is going to be very tough, actually. We've yet to see Field Blower from him, too. Mewtwo Stretcher. Okay. Ooh. Damn, that's some good timing right there. That's some... Uh, yeah, that's, that's, just some, that's just some good timing. So he literally has to top deck Blower. Because I'm not killing him this turn, right? Uh, 100. No, I'm not killing him. Just in case he does top deck blower though, I'm not gonna commit another energy here. But I have to commit it somewhere. I guess it just goes here. How many fighting fear belts do I have left? One. Maybe I'll commit this to the Lele. No, this is better. Just in case he top decks blower. We have plenty of energy left, so I'm not worried about that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh. Very nice. How many Guzma do we have left? One. We have three Guzma left. But we're not seeing anytime soon. He could retreat to this to try and stall. If this ever comes up, I just knuckle impact it. I'm not getting some Mimi kill on it, I don't think ever. So we poke that, I guess. <clears throat> so I think, so he's gonna Zorark us, obviously. I think we go retreat to Zygarde, attach strong here. Floatstone, Carbink N. I think that's the play. I guess we hadn't discarded any Parallel City yet, so us getting a Parallel City, that turn in general wasn't that far off. Hundred. Does this deck ever play Enhanced Hammer? I don't think so. So we can go Prep Strong, Retreat to him, Lands Wrath, Floatstone to Carbank. Hold a Floatstone. I'm comfortable with getting rid of one, though. For sure. And I'm going to Lands Wrath kill. Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten rid of two Floatstone. But if he blowers, we need like some extra stuff, I think. Yeah. Maybe I prized. Uh, at this point, I could Ultra Ball these two. No, but if he goes like kill, blower kill, we could Wonder Tag. So, no, that doesn't make any sense. So, Wrath. Yeah, just Wrath. Oh, I had GX this whole time. Oops. I forgot I had GX. <clears throat> I still have my GX attack. What are the first two prizes I drew? No, I killed like two little things, right? I killed Mewtwo and uh, Small Boy. So there was four prizes left? That's still 160. Okay, no, I didn't miss math. I thought I fucked up pretty bad there. Did I? No, okay. Oh, yep, there's the blower. So DCE ping, but we still just win next turn. So this is fine. So he does play blower though. The only way he could win. Where's the Mewtwo? Oh, he shuffled it back in with Stretcher. So he need to go Mewtwo this turn. That doesn't kill me though. So I'd be I'd be okay with it. I still would prefer if he didn't do that. And then what? We sell storm it. He would do a hundred. We'd sell storm. So if he had the choice band as well, I guess. That's a weird ping. Oh, he got three, though. No, that's fine ping. 
Is that a fine ping? There's four prizes left. Oh yeah, that ping makes sense then. But if he doesn't have DC this turn, we just win. Yeah. Why you go kamikaze, man? Who knows? <clears throat> oh, there's the Mewtwo. Do we just win? What is it? 200, 230. No, we don't just win. I don't know how to win this yet. We don't just win, right? Am I missing something? Strong here. Knuckle impact. 200. Off by 10. Um, I could just sell storm. I could just put this here and sell storm. I think I'm fine with that, right? But he could win next turn on a blower then. So do I have to move this this turn? So if I sell Storm, he has to not have another blower next turn. He probably plays two blower. Man, this is a hard game. Wait a second. No. Fuck, I missed it. Damn it. Well, now I just definitely lose. I was thinking way too hard. I think I had a way to just win that turn, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to check how many... Damn. Oh, now I just lose. Yeah, I should have... That's what I was going to go for. I was thinking, like, how many choice bands does he have played i assume he plays three he's played three i was gonna go with max elixir here retreat knuckle impact attach here but now i just lose if he has field blower hey he doesn't have field blower all right we did it damn i was like i was like thinking so hard of an out i guess that was the out but he could play max potion too so then that gets screwed up if he plays max potion a lot of these decks play max potion so yeah that's a feels bad man for him now though Interesting. Okay. Doesn't matter. Came through in the end. Can't be stopped. Won't be stopped. Oh, I had two Guzma prize. That's why you check your prizes. That's why you should check your prizes. Because then you figure out stuff like that. I thought I had three Guzma left in deck. Well, at least maybe two. Overthink more like overkill. More like BM. I say extended BM, man. Will played is so passive aggressive at this point. <laughs> that was about to get styled on. Nah, man. I knew what was going on the whole time. Going to North uh, Carolina. Always reads as Maki. Uh, I guess a little bit, yeah. I don't know. It depends what the. What, uh, yeah. Definitely a little bit. Uh, I am going to North Carolina, yes. Oh, it's fixed. That's great. Oh, what a what a god start. Holy shit. I don't even mind. Like, going second doesn't even matter, dude. Holy shit. This hand is good. What's the play? Uh, I sent it. This who's that was closer. Someone tried to fly send your primal grout on. I think that's I think that's a fair uh, a fair response to that. Oh man, Sylveon Guardian. This shouldn't be too bad though. Just kind of annoying. Oh, my hand was so good, bro. All right, all right.
Hand is still very good. Okay. Uh, Zygarde is very bad in this matchup. Just, oh, bro. Shoot. Well, now we're definitely not benching Zygarde. I think we're doing like this. I kind of want to get the car bank to set it up, but if we hit max elixir, we need to put him on something, so. I maybe should have kept the end, though. Maybe I fucked up with that. I don't know. Guzma's super important to have, too, though. And I'm going to save this extra Ultra Ball to get the Garb. So, oh, we got the Garb. Maybe we're going Ultra Ball for Lele next turn, then. Oh, we could set up the Bink. Oh, that's rough, actually. I think we're actually going to be going Ultra Ball for Lele for end. Maybe I should have kept the end. But I really want to keep the Ultra Ball to make sure I could get Garb. But I didn't need Garb that soon. Well, it's still nice. Garb's super nice to have out ASAP. Maybe I overextended that, though. And I could have just gone Lily initially and not Ultra Ball at all. No, I got Ultra Ball. I always get, like, nothing off the Lily. I can Max Elixir here. Hmm. I mean, I could just bench this and go Garb Guzma next turn. And for a couple turns, I could just be doing Guzma shenanigans. I think I'd rather give myself the option, though, to... um. Man, I don't know. I think I'd rather, yeah, I'd definitely rather give myself the option to Lily. This, man, this Parallel City, that is pretty good turn one. Why didn't you play Buzzwell cards? I was just scared of too many counters. Like, I think pretty much everyone played Mew EX that wasn't playing Buzzwell themselves. Like, I didn't want to play into all that. Like, if someone just draws well, like, even though I think it is possible to play around the Mew EX to the point where the matchup isn't, like, super favored for them. Like, if they just draw hot, or, like, not even hot, if they just draw, like, smooth, I guess is a better way to put it. Like, man, it's so hard to beat a Mew EX if they draw smoothly. How about turn before I boost? I play the mirror and he just draws better. It feels bad, man. That is a feels bad, man, right there. What's the play for North Carolina? Is North Carolina standard or expanded? All right, here we go. I have nothing to counter the ribbon, but the ribbon can't be that good, actually, because he doesn't have, like, any candy targets or anything. So I'm actually I'm okay with not being able to counter this ribbon. I think I might just goose with this and chill. Standard. So we have to decide how we're getting out of this situation. I'm fine with Guzman chill, I think. But I can't bench anything else, though. So I could just go Guzman this, Max looks into this one on the bench. 30-30. Set up Garb. And then look to Ultra Ball for Lele next turn. That's not horrible. Oh, but I can't Garb and then set to go for Lele for next turn. I don't want to end him. Ending him here actually isn't that good. I could just Ultra Ball away both these. Shoot. Because I think I need three Buzzle for this matchup. Right, we have another 1-1 one, one in there if we really need it. I think I'm just going to go to Cynthia. I don't think I actually want to end him here. I mean, the one thing he could have in his hand is Bridget. He could be going to Bridget this turn. So I could end away that Bridget. One end left. All right. So I don't think I'm going to end. I think I'll have to be just content with Cynthia. I don't know. It's weird. Oh, Elixir. Should I put on the Lele? I don't think it's ever right to put on the Lele. Cynthia it is. Could set up both these. I could be doing like decent deeps with this now with the strong. Or I could just belt it and swing. Just do a little bit of damage here. I need to kill the Sylveon, though. I could kill it. Shit, should we just kill it? Could I have done actually a weird play? Shoot, let's just kill it. Why not, right? I can't think of a reason why not. I 
That would be absorption or be knuckle impact. I think I'm going to knuckle impact and then retreat back to this one because he's going to push Guardy then and hit us. So I think I just knuckle impact. So then he's going to hit us. We'll retreat back to Buzzwool. Yeah, I think that's how it's going to go down here. And I might actually even attach a fighting energy to the Lele at that point. So there goes Guardy. Oh, the blower. That's not what I wanted to see. Did not want to see that blower. Doggo is very angry. It is standard. Standard. I am going to Charlotte, yes. I am I currently plan to go to actually to go to every regional, yes. Um the only one I was maybe gonna miss was San Jose, and I ended up going to that one. Absorption now doing as much as knuckle impact, yeah. The only reason I'd want to do that is so I could attack again. But I don't think it's that important for me to attack again, actually. It's very important for me to find a tool for this. I don't want to put a Fighting Fury Belt on it, actually. Okay. So now we're treating this becomes worse, but it's not that big of a deal. I think I just belt this, to be honest. Like, I just need to make sure I tool it this turn. I can't let the Guardies get out of control without him working for it. I did hit the thing, but whatever. So I think I think our prizes are coming from these two Guardies, our last four prizes. We're just going to sit here. Like, maybe he'll three-shot a couple of these boys or something, and we'll just, we're just going to sit here and jet punch a lot for a little bit, I guess. And if you ever extend, we have the Lele to do a decent respond. Um, yeah. We'll see if he even plays. If he's not playing like a hyper healing version too, like um, if he's just not playing a lot of healing, then we can just beat him through. Um, God, what am I trying to say? If he's not playing a lot of healing. We can just beat him through punching both these guys a lot, and that's it. We'll just punch him a lot. Damn, dude, I hate to, every time I see this parallel city, I'm like, gosh, god damn it. Ah, it's still going to be hard. I don't know, man. Should I jet punch with this one, actually? Damn, stop bringing me this timer. Or... I don't know. This is hard, dude. This is actually really... I do, like, no damage. Oh, this Paralocity is so annoying. I wasn't able to set up Carbink either to, like, reload. Then I had to put down the Lele. I guess if I didn't have to put down the Lele, I probably would have been fine because I could have set up a Carbink. But uh, because I could not set up a carving, this is going to get really awkward. This game's going to get really hard. Really, really hard. I don't actually know how I win this. This can do 100. So we're at 160. Jesus. He's already like, gearing up to win the game, though. I just got to keep poking, I think. Like, I'm going to go... Hey, no second S ball. Nest ball for this boy. Just poke again? Jesus, dude. Who knows? I kind of want to hold the energy is what I'm looking at here. I just don't know, man. This is so hard. 
oh man. So the Lele kills, but if he just gets a DC here, he kills Lele. So maybe I should have dug with Sycamore this last turn so I could try and find the N. Hmm. It's in there. The Fighting Fury Belt is also in there. So if I actually get the Fighting Fury Belt, so I I maybe should have Sycamore last turn. How many DC does he have left? Hmm, there's the N. That's a knockout, right? Yeah, okay. So if he just has DC, he wins. Nothing we can do about it. Guardy's big, man. Safeguard over Energy Keeper. Um, uh, if you play Garbrink Break, I mean, from my understanding of it is uh, if you play Garbrink Break, you kind of beat Mildex anyways with the Garbrink Break, so you don't need every you don't need the Energy Saver as well. And then um, Mew Yex can't kill this guy. Which is really nice, actually. So if they go MUX, you can respond with Carbank. And then also Volcanion. Should you play against Volcanion? Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. I lose. So digging for N was, obvi was definitely the play there. I didn't really think about him one-shotting that buzz wall. Uh, but then he one-shot that buzz wall. Uh, so if I thought a little bit harder about it, I was like, I probably would have come to the conclusion that I should stick a more there to try and find N or something. Um, it's hard, man. It's a hard. That seems like a hard matchup, actually. Especially with the Sylveon. The Sylveon like gave him a lot of space. Maybe I should have played it slower, and like whittled away at the Sylveon a little bit more instead of committing all that energy immediately. But if I take too much time, it, it can also get, just get worse for me, too. I don't know. Because then he gets that many more things off, and I don't want to end him every time. Oh, the only bad starter in the deck, really. Lele. Also, when we got Parallel City, they got really rough, too. That Parallel City, the turn one Parallel City was just not good at all for us. There's Energy Keeper. No, I think Energy Keeper only protects basic energy. So it doesn't protect from E-Hammer. So this is our only break. So I kind of want to save it now. I think we're going to save it for Cynthia over a sickle more. Probably the, what, a 1-1 one, one line? That's fine, though. So it's just I have no idea what we're playing against yet. Maybe I should have held that, actually. I'm going to hold the Max Elixir because we don't know if we want to commit like multiple energy to a Buzzwell yet or not. Because um, it's very possible we just want to hold on to our stuff. This mirror match. This looks like mirror. N? Sure. Hmm. So, ooh, let me get the parallel down. Parallel city down first, please. Oh, and he committed the Trubbish. Don't commit the Trubbish at this point, man. You know you're playing against. Ah, parallel city, you lose. That was a big mistake from him, to be honest. I guess we go to set up, get the option to set this boy up. So 
So this energy attachment, I guess, is a little risky. He could get Floatstone attached Max Elixir. But we want to hit this, this. So I think we actually commit this here then, I guess. I once again want to kind of hold the Max Elixir because he could go top deck Max Elixir, attach Max Elixir, kill the one with two energy, and then my response is pretty poor. So I th think I hold the Max Elixir again. I kind of want to use the Ultra Balls though. No one playing side red, that be. So we probably second Lele. Place, I'd rather be. Yeah, see, that's what I was afraid of right there. Ooh, here it comes. Look out. It's Buzzwool. Maybe I should have actually... I should have actually attacked with this one, I think. That was a mistake. I should have kept the strong boy back. So we'll see what he goes with here. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I can GX kill it, right? Like, damn, that's a lot of HP. He's got what? Uh, 200? I should have I should have kept a strong boy back, actually. That's a mistake. Oh, nice top deck. Glad I did not whiff that. Damn, dude, I messed up bad by not holding the strong guy back. Because now it's so much harder. Like, uh, It's really easy to get a Guzma KO if I kept a strong guy. But I didn't. So now it's really hard to get a KO, actually. I don't want that on my bench. It's not the worst thing ever, but it's actually pretty rough. Put it in play. Yeah. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. So now, I, if I had kept the guy with the strong available, I could go attach second strong. He's going to probably card bank this turn. That's just the way his board is set up. Um, I could go attach second strong Guzma. Knuckle impact. Um, but instead, I'm going to have to go like Guzma... Diamond gift it, which isn't horrible. And then I can put two energy on this guy. And we'll just go from there. Do you know how to say my buzzwool? Uh, I have like a 2-2-1 two, two, buzzwool set up right now, I think. I think so. I have like one promo, two full art, two non-full art. And I prefer the promo art, but uh, yeah. Time of your life. Damn, yeah. So that's a mistake. Take note of that, guys. Save uh, save your buzzle with a strong energy when there's a possibility he's just going to die. Like, the 20 extra damage on the Lele is not that important. It's nice, but it's definitely not important. Um, yeah, promo art is definitely the best. Definitely the best. <laughs> so I can still top deck Fighting Fury Belt, I guess. I mean, but he could also just put a Fighting Fury Belt on his thing, and then I can't kill no matter what. So that's something that could happen. Or he could concede. 
that also can happen. All right, guys. Uh, short stream today. Really short stream today, actually. I thought I was actually going to be able to stick around for a little bit longer, but um, I am going to head off.